test inverse function. The question is, find inverse of the function. There's only one function. I didn't write the next one. Find inverse of the function and sketch its graph. The function is a set of points a a such that a belongs to integers where a is greater than or equal to minus 2 and less than or equal to 3. So this is the given function and you need to find inverse of this function. At times students find it difficult to understand what is written here. Now when I read it, it makes it a bit clear, right? So it is a function where we have set of points a a where a belongs to a set of integers and a is greater than or equal to minus 2 and less than or equal to 3, right? So that is the set of points which we have. So you can always plot these points on a graph and I will write these points for you in ordered pair form. So that means from a starting with minus 2, I have minus 2, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3. So when I write like I have written in that set form, that is my function. Do you see that? This is my function. And now it is simple. Find inverse of the function and sketch its graph. So these are all invariant points, right? So you'll say that f inverse is actually equals to the function itself, right? And as expected, what kind of graph are you expecting here? So don't do the mistake of joining the points, right? These are set of integers, right? So your points are 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and on this side, minus 1, minus 1, and minus 2, minus 2. So that is how you are going to plot the graph of this function. Do you see that? So this is minus 1, and here we have 1, 1, and 1. So that gives you the whole complete answer of this function. So it's kind of very important question. At times, one may get lost seeing what is written there, right? So be careful and try to do these kinds of problems and understand what these problems are. At times, I could give you a function like this, f equals to set of a comma a square, right? So that is x square function, where a belongs to, let us say, natural numbers, right? And then I can say that a is less than or equal to 5. So that could be a function, right? So try to do this problem. So that is your question. Try to solve this problem and write down its inverse, right? And show it on the graph. So let that be your question for the time being. Thank you.